Today I'm going to show you how to create custom Django management command. This is part one video of this series. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out the other two parts. Before starting, what is Django management command? So you all must have already come across commands like run server, python manage.py, make migrations, migrate, then create super admin or super user. So these are all the management commands. Likewise, we can create our own command into Django and it is very simple to do that. So let's jump into the code. I have my environment already created and activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start installing Django. So pip env install Django. And since it was already installed, so that's why it said like this. Otherwise, for you all, it will install it. So let me clear this. We'll start by creating our first project. I'll call it as src. Then we'll navigate inside SRC and we'll create our first app. So the command is Django admin start app. I'll call it as demo. Let me minimize this. We'll go inside SRC. We'll go inside SRC settings.py and over here we'll install our app. So demo. Our app installation is done. So to create a custom management command, there is specific directory structure that we have to follow. So the directory structure is as follows. So inside demo, we should have a folder called as management and inside management, we have another folder called as commands. And then in that, whatever file you create will be the command name. So let's start by printing hello world as the response of the first command. So let's go ahead and do that. I will create a file. I'm using VS code shortcut. So this is how it is. It will have a management file, sorry, folder and spelling should be M A N A G E M E N T. Then it should have another folder called as commands. So I will create that. And then in that we will have our first say hello world custom management command. So I will call it as say hello dot pi. Of course it should be a Python file. So dot pi extension. Again, if we look over here, the directory structure is as follows inside the app we have a directory called as management inside management we have another directory called as commands and then in that whatever file name is there will be the name of the management command or custom management command you can say so over here our man custom management command is say underscore hello so let's write our first custom class and this custom class should inherit a base command. So that is what we are going to import. So from django.core.management.base base import base command. Uh, if you all notice, I'm making a lot of spelling mistakes today. That is because I am using the new keyboard. Yes, this one. So I'll be soon posting a video related to this. So make sure you subscribe to our channel for that so that you don't miss out why I bought this keyboard and how it is. So we'll create our class class command. And please note this class should have the same name that is command and it should always inherit base command. Otherwise this won't work. Whatever help text you want to give over here that should be given over here that will be in help. Let's say this will print hello world. Okay. This is the help. So whenever we write Python manage.py help, this is the one that should come. So that's why we have this. Now we are going to create our method and method is called as handle. And in this, this takes actually three arguments. So self then args, then of course keyword args and over here, whatever you want to do operation that should be done. Say if you wanted to print anything, right? We should do it over here. That print will be directly given on the terminal. So I'm going to put print hi there. Okay. So I, I have diverted little bit from hello world to hi there. So yes, this is what I want to print and it will be printed. Let's save this and let me recap what we have done till now. First of all, we have created our first project. Then inside that we have created our first app, installed the app in our installed apps. Then we went to our app in that we have created a folder called as management. In that folder, we have created another folder called as commands. And then we have created a file called as say hello.py. And in this one, we have imported the base command from here. Then we have created our first class called as command. And this is very important to be of the same name and it should inherit base command. 
then over here we can give help text and then we have our method and method is called as handle it accepts self uh, args and then keyword args and whatever we do over here operation or say we print anything it will be printed on the terminal so if we want to try okay guys please note the spelling should be always correct and i have misspelled management spelling so m a n a g e m e n t i had misspelled that so because of that it must be not working let me try again before that we'll say always help and let's see if we get something over here no we don't really get it okay now since these are done i had misspelled my management command so please fix that so our coding is done now our coding is done before we can start and run this custom management command we have to make sure the spellings are correct over here if you see management spelling is not really correct so i'm going to fix that it is m a n a g e m e n t and i had misspelled that so now that is done we are going to expand this and we are going to first before even printing that what we are going to do is python manage.py i'm going to type in help and we are going to say say underscore hello if we type this and press enter it will give us all these things yeah that is fine but if we go on top here you can see this will print hello world it is same as this will print hello world so that's why this help attribute was needed so that was done now let me show you how to run this so the command is simple python manage.py space say and if you type underscore sorry if you press tab after typing say it will auto complete this and if you click on enter it prints hi there so again let me show you python manage.py and then i i just type s a y and i press tab and that auto completes it and if i click on enter it just prints it whatever is there over here so over here we were able to successfully create our first custom django management command and also we printed hi there instead of hello world but in this one we never took any argument from the key, uh, user like if if you have seen python manage.py create super user takes arguments from the user so in the next video we will try to see how we can take user input okay so make sure to you subscribe to our channel for that so that you don't miss out our next video thank you for watching see you in the next one